Welcome to another edition of Focus on DeSoto. I'm your moderator, LaKenya Moss, and today's topic is all about the DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival. And I would love to introduce to you our panel of guests. And we're going to start off with our Honorable Mayor Carl Sherman. That's what I'm talking about, LaKenya Moss. <laughs> and also, Pleasure. we would like to introduce our other guest. And if you guys could please tell us your name and your positions. Let me start with you. I'm Cami Jackson, President of the DeSoto Chamber of Commerce. I'm Meredith Capleton, CEO of Gemstone Management Consulting, the company tap for the Soul Jazz Festival Management. And I'm Eve Williams. I am the President of the Kita Engineering and I am the Chair of the DeSoto Chamber of Commerce. Well, welcome. Welcome to Focus on DeSoto. And <coughs> if you haven't heard about the DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival, you must be living up under a rock. But if you don't know, you're going to know now. Cammie, could you please explain to the audience what the DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival is all about? Absolutely. The DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival is the talk of the town. It's a 10-day festival that will happen June 1st through the 10th. Mm -hmm. And we have a ton of events going on. We have Soul Jazzy Hours, which is the Soul Jazz version of Happy Hour. We have karaoke contests. We have a celebrity golf tournament. We have comedy and casino night. And of course, the big day happens on Saturday, June 9th, when we have an all day concert starring Rochelle Farrell, Cameo, Pieces of a Dream. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It's just so much going on. There's so many artists. It's just, I mean, yes. it's incredible. And it, I mean, it starts out at 10 o'clock in the morning all the way to 10 o'clock at night. So it, there's just, it's just a lot going on. A lot going on. Is okay. it true that Dougie Fresh is going to be there? Yep, that's right. That's okay. another one, wow. Dougie Fresh. Okay. MC Light? Yes. Okay, so what prompted the DeSoto Chamber of Commerce to get the ball rolling for the De DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival? You know, Kenya, we started talking about this about four years ago. Mm -hmm. We were conceptualizing what we could do to make DeSoto a destination. I don't know if you're aware or not, but the DeSoto Chamber of Commerce is also the tourism department mm -hmm. for the city of DeSoto. And okay. so it's our job to bring guests in for overnight stays in our hotels. Well, what better way to bring them in than to have a big music festival? So we started talking about it about four years ago and okay. started putting some pieces in place. And then about a year and a half, when Eve became chair-elect, she um, conceptualized something really huge, which turned into the Soul Jazz Festival. Okay. Well, who are some of the playmakers? Well, we have, of course, the, the chamber is spearheading the, mm -hmm. the, the event. Um, but we're in partnership with DeSoto ISD okay. uh, because we're using their facility. It's a great opportunity to mix in um, entertainment in with the facilities at the ISD and the city of DeSoto, of course. And of course, the EDC is involved as well. Okay, great. So we definitely have a lot of supporters. Yes, we do. Yes. yes we do. <laughs> okay, now Meredith, could you elaborate more on the the Soto Soul Jazz Festival and what it's, you know, all about and how can other people get involved? Well, this event is the largest event in the history of the Soto. It's the biggest event ever. A again, as Cammie mentioned, it's expanding 10 days. So we will have so many activities going on from the happy hours, the karaoke contest, the walk for diabetes prevention, which will be Saturday, June 2nd at Zyger Park. So we need more people to sign up for that, so please do. We also have June 4th through June 7th with the free concerts, the Spotlight free concerts at the amphitheater. Mm. It's a lovely amphitheater here okay. in Town Center. And then also we have the Comedy and Casino Night, Friday night, uh, June 8th. And then we have a golf tournament that uh, Friday morning at Cedar Crest Golf Course. And then of course we have our big finale Saturday again with those wonderful artists, Rochelle Farrell, Cameo, MC Light, Dougie Fresh, Pieces of a Dream, Brandon Barrett, Buster Brown Band, wow. surprise artists. We have Health Pavilion going on inside the freshman gym area at DeSoto High School. Uh, we also have the um, uh, vendors and also community groups, 501c3 community groups, a lot of groups here and around DeSoto who are going to be participating. Expecting over 10,000 people, upwards of 15,000 possibly. Again, just the biggest event ever in the history of the city of DeSoto, and uh, we're really proud to be a part of that. Okay, and you mentioned the Diabetes Walk. 
This is going to be the first diabetes walk here in DeSoto, correct? Uh, that one I'm not certain of. Well, for the Soul <laughs> Jazz Festival. But it is for Festival. the Soul Jazz Festival, correct. It's the first one of the, one of the kind. Uh, that concept came up through just really getting an understanding of what, what type of walks were not occurring in DeSoto. Mm -hmm. We've had the council walks, we've had some other walks. American Heart Association walks, uh, but no one had done anything for diabetes from my understanding. So we just tried to fit, you know, a piece into the puzzle that wasn't there to try to give everybody an opportunity to participate. It's just $10 minimum donation to sign up through DeSotoSoulJazzFest.com. And again, we're looking for more walkers at Zyger Park, 10 a.m. start time. Okay, well, community, we have to come out and definitely show our support for the walk of di for diabetes. Um, uh, Mr. Sherman, Mr. Uh, Mayor Carl Sherman, you yeah. don't have any beads on. Okay, no, you have to join in on oh, the yes, festivities. Yes. I don't. You have to join. <laughs> I was trying to compensate with that <laughs> fish pump. Thank you. There you go, Mayor. Okay. Now he looks <laughs> just right. Now, yes, very handsome. <laughs> All complete. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> so, um, the DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival, why here? Why, what is the need to have it here? You know, I, I think that Meredith uh, was uh, understating it when she said it's the biggest uh, event that we've held in the city of DeSoto. This is the biggest event that's been held in the Best Southwest as mm -hmm. it relates to I entertainment. Uh, this is a mega fest for us. And why DeSoto? Uh, DeSoto uh, is really interestingly positioned. I mean, we are in the middle of really uh, no infrastructure when it comes to future transportation. You've got rail that goes in Duncanville and Cedar Hill and rail uh, on the east side of us going through Lancaster, Waxahachie. DeSoto does it, and it is uh, extremely important that we position ourselves as a point of destination as a city. And so this is sort of the Super Bowl, uh, uh, just uh, the, the catalyst to start uh, bigger things. Uh, this is huge, but it's going to be bigger and bigger uh, as we create a sense of place for families mm -hmm. and singles to come and enjoy uh, the good sound of, of wonderful artists like Cameo and, and Future. Uh, hopefully uh, you can get uh, some of those country singers I like. Uh, Meredith, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward <laughs> to uh, the future for this uh, because DeSoto uh, will be the uh, really the city where mm -hmm. you go for culture. Yes. Uh, just as the uh, theme, uh, I, I like the slogan that you created uh, for this, and I think it's something that embodies really the essence of our city. Uh, there's so much more, and uh, I hope that answers the why, uh, and I believe uh, that that is going to be our signature mark as a city. We'll be the place where if you want to go to destination restaurants, yes. this is the place. Uh, Budden's Place and places like Hattie's and perhaps Gloria's uh, will be the restaurants that we will have uh, so that folks will come here and have a sense of, of belonging in our city. So that is one way that um, our small businesses here in DeSoto can benefit from the Soul Jazz Festival. And, but if you can elaborate a little bit more, and this is open to anyone, as far as the beneficial part, as far as the small business owners and our citizens, you know, aside of enjoying, enjoying the festivities. Let me just interject here. I mean, I, I don't know if somebody else wants to chime in on that. Uh, there is an economic downstream that happens whenever you have an event like this uh, mm -hmm. where folks are coming. It's sort of like the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, uh, the money, the real money is made uh, with those businesses that are around it that understand what's happening. If they're a part of the whole process mm -hmm. in the beginning, uh, they will capitalize and do extremely well. Uh, because when those folks come in from everywhere, uh, they'll know that this is a unique business that I can only experience this in DeSoto. That's why it's important that we have destination retail and destination restaurants along this Hampton Road corridor as we create a new downtown. Uh, but uh, those businesses will do well, but if they're not engaged, uh, they won't see uh, the business that they could have realized uh, 
uh, just because they weren't a part of it. Yesterday I was talking with the Walmart employees mm -hmm. uh, at, at Walmart, and often I go and talk you know, to all of their employees. They have over 400 employees. Wow. And I commend them on their customer service. They're number one in customer service in this region, number one in cre credit card transactions. That's great. But I said to them, you're the biggest guys we have here. In, 90s, in the late 90s, we had over eight grocery stores. Now we only have four. Wow. You're the big guys. You could treat every customer like you're the big guys. But what will make you different is something that John H. Johnson talked about, the founder of Ebony and Jet magazine. Mm -hmm. He talked about the advantage of the disadvantage and how we have to position ourselves to capitalize on that fact that you're in an area where folks don't expect you. Mm -hmm. So therefore, do the unexpected. Whenever a customer comes within 10,000 feet, you should be greeting them, asking them how's their day. So just because you're the big guys, don't act like you're the big guys. So that means Walmart, uh, you'll probably see they'll start acting like the little guys here in DeSoto. Yes. And that's what our small business, they have the advantage is building that relationship. So I think working with the Chamber of Commerce uh, is very critical. They should be calling the Chamber. Uh, to say, hey, how can we benefit from this huge event yes. where thousands of people are coming to town? It's being broadcast everywhere. Yes. I'm hearing it, you know, upstate. But anyway, I'll stop there no, because, Lakenya, I, I get pretty excited when, you know, we're talking about our city. Yeah, I, I can definitely see your passion in that. Um, what I want also is for everyone to tell, tell the audience, what is your ultimate goal? for the city of DeSoto in having this event? Um, well, when we started planning this about, uh, actually about two years ago, um, I kind of patterned this, patterned this after a, an event in Winter Park, Colorado. I go there every year and there's a chamber of commerce there. You know, as you know, co uh, you can imagine that their their peak season is in the is in the winter time. So mm -hmm. in the summertime, they had to figure out what to do to make uh, keep the economic impact in their in their community. And so they have this jazz fest, and the chamber there is this is the um, host of it, and they're in their 29th year, and mm -hmm. it's been very successful. So I came back here, got excited about it. And um, it's, it's been great ever since. We've been working with Meredith. We brought her on, and our board is excited about it. The community ex ex is excited about it. And I think what it's going to help to do is bring pride, uh, a sense of pride and a sense of belonging, and, and also help the quality of life of DeSoto, especially as we start to brand ourselves as a destination. You know, we have neighbors that are into retail. I won't mention their names here. Okay. <laughs> they have all the retail stores. And, yes. and so, you know, um, we're not that we're competitive, but uh, that's a little better place to live. And so uh, we want to make we, we want to make that economic impact um, uh, as big, if not bigger, than our neighbors. And we want them to come to us to for culture and art. You know, we have theater here. We have a very nice uh, African-American theater here. Mm -hmm. And as we start to bring in things like this, this kind of event, we're hoping to be able to attract um, other uh, entertainment venues like a, a studio movie grill or uh, even a Whole Foods store or something like that yes. when they start to see that we're doing something. Yes. And Cami? And it's exciting to see things happening. People people get that sense of excitement and it starts to move the city forward and, and people are talking and they're um, they want to live here and they and they want to bring family here and they want to they want to uh, support the businesses in DeSoto because there is that whole sense of wow something's happening here and um, and we want the businesses to be aware that there are going to be thousands of people that will be shopping buying gas buying food buying yes. band-aids they, they need to be aware that, that that all these people are coming and the citizens need to be aware that all these people are coming so we don't want June 2nd or June 1st to roll around and, and they go mm, why is all this traffic here all of a sudden we want we want them to be aware that this it is big and uh, and they're coming. Okay. 
And Meredith, would you like to add some stuff? Yes, definitely big. Uh, the big mobile billboard truck that you've seen around town just flying by with the big billboards on there. We want to make sure everybody has gotten the impressions and, and you know, and definitely aware of all the interests and all the people that are going to be in town. Uh, all the businesses that have been supportive to us from uh, the Soto Arts Commission, Bank of the Soto, 7-Eleven, uh, Solar Turbines, Dr. Pepper, just a host of other sponsors. <coughs> oh my gosh, we have to, Dakita Engineering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're in talks now with the large telecommunications company as well as a large electronics company to get involved here. Wow. Uh, Mac High Ford uh, is doing going to be involved. Walgreens has been a great and excellent partner. Chili's on actually on the other side of 20 and Wheatland, and also Papado, and just a lot of different restaurants. Just been very supportive, and so it's the the actual word is getting out, and the support is there. It's just kind of driving in a little faster on the home front, which we were aware of that. Uh, but you know, hey, this is an annual event. This is the first year. It's inaugural one. So we're just really excited about uh, the Chamber, which of course Chamber of Commerce supports me as a circle of dollars. Yeah. So we're just happy that everybody can be a part of it and hopefully a win-win for everybody as we move forward. Well, I can definitely see that you guys have been working hard. So, and, and Mayor Carl Sherman, would you please add a little bit more than what they were said as far as your ultimate goal? What would you like to say? Well, quite frankly, I want to get NDIRE here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say Beyonce. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I, I'd like to get into it. No, uh, I, uh, and, and I do uh, really appreciate her talent. Yeah. She is extremely good. And, yeah. Uh, yet, uh, or Tracy Chapman. But, uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> and, and I'm going to write all this down. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are good singers. Uh, but I think that ultimately what my goal is and our council's goal is, mm -hmm. is to create a uh, sense of place and creating uh, DeSoto as the cultural center for the best Southwest. Uh, this is uh, an opportunity that uh, I want to commend uh, our chamber on uh, putting forward uh, and I thank our city council for having the foresight and uh, I would say the political fortitude to be willing to support something so outside of the box. Uh, and yet uh, I have to say that Gemstone and uh, Chamber, uh, there is a lot riding on this to us. Uh, to me personally, I want us to, and I know every council member wants to see this be successful. Yes so that success will beget success. And uh, when no, it comes no, to no funding. Pressures, huh? no, no pressures, huh? No, no, no pressures. pressures. <laughs> but, but I don't want this just to be a one-time event, and nobody came into this with the expectation that we would not be successful. So certainly, uh, we want to build a, uh, I guess, uh, an event that's mm -hmm. annual okay. for us to do. So. Well, Meredith, if anyone at home would like to find out more information about the DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival, how can they find out more? Well, the website uh, and spell DeSoto, Soul, and Soul is spelled S-O-L-J-A-Z-Z, fest.com. There's a plethora of information there. We have an events page with a lot of information. We also have a media page. We have several media partners, warningradio.com, again, Service Broadcast in Dallas, which is Smooth R&B 105.7, KKDA AM uh, 73, so 73, also uh, 94.5 Old School, and uh, K104. So tune in to the radio stations, listen in, there's spots running all the time, get opportunity to win tickets, passes, uh, ticketweb.com, go there if you'd like to buy your tickets as well up front. We've got group ticket sales at the Chamber. 2010 Northampton Road. Stop by there, see Cammy, Superstar, and Eve is around as well a lot of times. Go in there and get your group sales tickets together. Also at our office, uh, the headquarters for Soul Jazz Fest across the street at 1801 Northampton, which is the Inwood Bank building. We have group sales tickets there as well. And, drum roll please, mm, William's Chicken. <laughs> Starting on 
<laughs> this Friday, uh, William Chicken, select William Chickens around the, the town and around the city will have tickets on sale. Just the $40 tickets, the bleacher tickets will be on sale until we run out of those. And the uh, website again, just bookmark the website, go there every day. We have updates, we have a lot going on, and we have a lot of media partners and then the block parties. Every Friday, we have a big block party this Friday at Chili's on tw off 20 in Wheatland. And shout out to Steve Samuels, the manager. Yay, Steve. He's a great guy. <laughs> it's a major support. Again, I think he's a new member of the chamber. Or they're getting, they're not, they're on their way. And uh, so we're just really happy. And just come on out, 5 to 8 on Friday. Mayor Sherman, too. Yes. Everybody, okay. it's a big party in the parking lot. They have sororities and fraternities step in. And, you know, chips and nachos and salsa everywhere. Just come on out and hang out with us. It's all about the Soul Jazz Festival 2020. And I, and I love the website. I keep it on all day because you have music playing. Yes. And I can hear my favorite artists <laughs> playing over and over again. Yeah. And it's, and it's really. really nice, mm -hmm. yes. Thank it's you. really nice. Yeah. Well, um, I would like to thank all of you guys for coming on Focus of DeSoto and to talk more about DeSoto Soul Jazz Festival. Thank you, thank you. There's one thing mm -hmm. I needed to mention. Yes, the DeSoto ISD. Uh, one of the benefactors uh, of okay. this um, Soul Jazz Fest is that um, the scholarships that we're creating mm -hmm. for some of our seniors to go to college. And so as, as one of the um, uh, rewards, I guess, of this event mm -hmm. is to be able to support our schools because we need to support our schools and we need to support our kids and our community is strong as long as our, as our, as long as our school district is strong. So that is very important to us. Yes. And we did a few applications so far. We need a few more. Okay. And you can pick them up at DeSoto High School. It's strictly for DeSoto High School students since that's the, the uh, DeSoto High, ISD High School. And uh, you have to apply now. You have to be a senior as well. So. That's the winner scholarship. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the presentation's on stage for the winners, the three winners on uh, Saturday, June 9th. Well, did, in closing, did anyone else want to add anything else? One thing I would like to say is um, I'd like everybody to go to Facebook, like the DeSoto Chamber of Commerce page <laughs> and the DeSoto Soul Jazz <laughs> Festival page. You'll get all the updates you need yes. on those two pages for the festival. And we do have a, a, an app. Go to Soto.com. Oh, or don't okay. go to Soto. Go to can, Soto. Yeah, yeah it's, you can download it on your Android or your um, iPhone, and you can get updates at that well as that way as well. Okay, well, you've heard it here first on Focus Up to Soto. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>